How are you tonight, Tara? Okay, a little raspy still, but uh, I'm I hear starting, you're... Yeah, I'm starting to get it too, so... Yeah, it's not fun. No, it's like, not. I spent two days in bed just sleeping for about 16 hours. That killed the fever. Like, you know that... You, and you know that feeling like where your skin hurts? I do not. Oh, that... I get... <clears throat> Whenever I get a fever, like my skin hurts, my hair hurts, everything hurts. So I spent two days just like in bed sleeping all day. Don't have that yet. finally burned off the fever. And ever since then, it's been like dizziness and headaches and blah, blah, blah. And now I'm coughing and sniffling. But, you know. Uh, uh, it's good times it's cool. and that's not even and that's not even the real flu like i didn't even have the actual flu i don't think guys it, that's can, just can, the cold going around can you guys at home look 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 at my uh look down my throat and say, <laughs> tell me how bad it is ah uh, what do you think yeah you're pretty much dying oh oh no Okay, so speaking of pretty much dying, you came back on a good week because everybody went bloody who, including your Skype yet again. But you never heard that bloody who crazy? No. Bloody who crazy? That's the thing. It's a thing. Yeah, this this week has got oh so much insane and ins just crazy shit. Which is, you know, what we do. In fact, we have actual crazy shit, but not right now. We'll get to it. Hold on, I'm gonna shut your cam- Can you shut your camera off and turn it back on? Because it's being yes. stupid. Camera be stupid. Camera. I'm hoping once I have the new video camera, I have to get it hooked up and see if I can use it for this, and maybe that'll help. Hmm. Well, there you go. That looks better. Yay. Okay, so... We just better get to it, because there there is no way to prepare you. I say that, though. You're a veteran at this. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, brings all sorts of horrible stuff back. We'll say we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you. I, I'm so out of it, I can't even get my damn thing right. I'm definitely getting sick. Okay. I yes, my Christmas tree is still up. I haven't taken it lighting. down yet. Yeah, fuck yeah, I like having it. I like my tree. It makes me happy. I don't want to take it down. So, um, I teased this one earlier in the show tonight. Apparently you skipped the title card. I know. I'm, I'm having a bad night. I'm, leave me alone. I'm bloody who. Blue who crazy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I teased this one earlier. This, this is... This is a case of I dare you to make less sense. Rockford man claims Justin Bieber told him to go to high school. And that sounds a little innocuous. But it's not. It's not. Um, Lawrence, uh, a Rockford man was arrested after admitting to police he masturbated during a high school swim meet after receiving a, quote, brainwave message from Justin Bieber telling him to go to the school. I knew he was evil, but not that evil. Lawrence E. Adamsick? I can't, I, I'm probably, probably saying that completely. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, was arrested, 49, was arrested Saturday morning by police during a boys swim meet. According to police, uh, he, uh, he told them that he was on his way to Brooksfield Zoo to find young boys with whom to have sex. However, he said he received a brainwave message from Justin Bieber as he walked past the school Telling him to go inside. Wow. Bieber's really expanded his reach. I know. Huh. Bieber doesn't evil. really seem like his target demographic, though. It, it, like, like, we sell the Justin Bieber perfume in my store. And the people that usually run in and squeal over it are usually the 13-year-old girls, not the 50-year-old men. Yes. Which is, is... I'm just baffled by this one. 
Also, don't do anything Justin Bieber tells you to do. He sucks. Yeah, that should be your pretty. Fir- that should be your first clue. Don't take brainwave orders from people who suck. You know, if you're if you're getting something from uh, from like George Burns in your head, take those orders because George Burns was cool and he was God for a while. So. Some of you kids are too young. Yeah, to I mean, understand that only take orders from the voices in your head that are awesome. Don't take orders from the voices in your head that are people who suck. Yes. That's Which, just like schizophrenia 101. How many people in your head suck, dear? Well, nobody in my head sucks. Everybody in my head is awesome. I got one guy in my Obviously. Head. I got one guy in my head never shuts up. <laughs> yes, only do what the Tara voice in your head tells you to do. Surely this will never go awry. If I do, I don't know how to kick myself in the in the crotch. I don't know how to make that work. Figure it out, man. OK. OK, so we've had and and I'm going to caution the channel here. Keep your gun debate shit to yourself. Fuck it. We don't care. If you do it, you're an idiot. We don't care. No one here cares. We don't have care about your position on this, that or the other. No one fucking cares. That's kind of aside from the point here. Lots of people had their own opinions about how these these sort of situations should be handled. And one dad was curious about how his school, his children's his children's school would handle it. He just w- went about it the, the very wrong way. Dad poses as gunman to test school security. Gets arrested. Texas man is facing third degree felony charges of making a terroristic threat after he allegedly told elementary school staffers he brought a gun to the building. Um, the greeter froze in panic when Miller said he was a gunman and his target is inside. Miller was then able to walk into the school and entered the office. He told them that he is a shooter and, quote, you're dead and you're dead. Never showing a weapon, Miller reportedly revealed his stunt was a test of school safety and he wanted to talk to the principal. He's now in jail waiting a $75,000 bail. You know, you could go and speak to the principal and find out what measures they have in place. Mm-hmm. You could help them organize a drill of some sort. Mm-hmm. You could do pretty much anything but this. Yes! This is like, the, this is the worst idea. You didn't have a good idea. This is effectively the worst one. Why did you go with the worst one? Wow, there's been a rash of school shootings. You know what I should do? I should go to my kid's school with a fucking gun. No, he he didn't have one. He just told everybody he had one. There was another guy that did that. I forget where. He had like a two by four with gun written on it. I'm not even kidding. I forget where I saw this story, but a dude like was carrying around like a two by four, like... Stop doing this. I just, You're helping none. No, because at this point, they're not reviewing their school safety. They're just throwing your ass in jail because you've broken well, the and law. You're just ramping up the fucking paranoia. Like this whole area has gone crazy since the shootings in Newtown. And it's a month to the day today. Um, so all the news crews are back now. Hmm in town well here's but the thing. this area has just gone crazy like people are calling in bomb threats to the local schools like yeah but this guy seemed to think no, you nobody needs you to make it worse yeah but this this guy seemed to think he was doing a good thing except one did he really think they weren't going to press charges and two did he think what did he was he expecting a thank you probably he was going oh thank you so much for Scaring the crap out of everyone. Your point is proved. Thank yeah. you. We totally you will not press charges. Commended for pointing out the weakness inherent in the system and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Imbecile. Oh, cryptic, psych. cryptic Psych has the guy with the rifle, the two by four. Thank you, Cryptic Psych. So I want to go from that semi-serious thing to a 
completely not serious thing. And I know I, I know we have the rule. I don't do these stories where someone gets hurt. But the guy was not seriously hurt. Number one. And number two. Oh, God, I can't I can't resist it. We, we have to talk about this because it's just. Remember the Oompa Loompas? Yes. Well, then this happened. I saw this. Australian this police magic. arrest four Smurf suspects for crime spree. How much farther to the getaway car, Papa Smurf? You've been waiting Not for that. Far now, my little Smurfs. <laughs> Four men dressed as Smurfs were arrested after attempting to steal a car and beating a man in Melbourne, Australia. According to reports, a 37-year-old man walked out of a 7-Eleven just past midnight when he was approached by a man that looked like Papa Smurf. All right, I'm going to take issue with that. There is no man on Earth who looks like Papa Smurf. There is, and I know him. I yeah. won't tell you who. The blue okay. guy? He's not blue, but he totally has that beard arrangement and everything. Yeah, but the proportions are all wrong. I mean, he's, his, a Smurf's head well, is as yeah, big as fine. his body. He's not, he's not actually three apples high, but he looks as much like Papa Smurf as a human can. Um, Papa Smurf asked for a cigarette. I'm going to say that again. Papa Smurf asked for a cigarette. You're welcome, kids. Uh, Vicky refused to uh, light the cigarette before handing it over and had to endure Papa Smurf's wrath. He also noticed three other men all similarly dressed as Smurfs were attempting to simultaneously hotwire a car. Man, that's worse than when they all got that plague that turned them purple and made them bite each other's tails and hop around going, get out, get out, get out, get out. This, okay. Wait for Smurf plague. Three of them were 19, one was 18. I remember myself at 19. I did not consider the Smurfs to be cool. I did not consider them to be anything in my sphere of, except for a distant, distant memory of a too long cartoon that interrupted the good shit on, on Saturday mornings. I like the Smurfs. They interrupted the good shit. It just, it was on for fucking ever. It's like three hours of Smurfs. I'm like, make it stop. So with that in mind, what 19 year old says to you says, OK, we're going out. We're going to make a big score. And I've decided. That our <laughs> outfits. Are Smurfs. Your brainy Smurf. Your handy Smurf. I think none of them were brainy Smurf. Why can't I be brainy Smurf? Because you're not brainy Smurf. You're handy Smurf. Waiting for it takes to three get it. people to hotwell a car, and at least two of them have no smurfing clue what they're doing, says your producer. Yeah, three of them to hotwire a car. They don't know. Yeah. I think, I, but yeah, I think it's safe to argue none of them were brainy smurf. I just. But yeah, why would that be a disguise? I mean, it's not terribly inconspicuous. No, it's actually drawing attention to yourself. You're going to get that blue paint all over everything you touch. So Hello? you're going to leave a trail of evidence. Yes. Oh, you just set me up so well. We have to go to the next one. Because speaking of trails of evidence. I think I might know which one this is. And this comes from South Carolina, which just. Oh, God, this state. I I just um oh fuck it headline yes <laughs> trail of Cheetos leads to store robber please yeah, nab a uh, South that. Carolina please nab a South Carolina teenager when they followed a trail of Cheetos leading from a convenience store to a local residence Austin Lee Westfall Pressler that's a lot of names nineteen was arrested on January six in Kershaw <laughs> County after allegedly stealing beer cigarettes snacks and energy drinks. From the local country store. Calls were placed to the sheriff's office by ABC News, not immediately returned. The store manager uh, said he stole about $160 worth of goods. The Cheetos were strown all over the store's floor in the driveway. Buckholt said that a neighbor 
across the street told him and the police that the car Pressler was driving was parked across the street at the Hard Times Cafe. Cheetos were all over the Hard Times Cafe. Cheetos were all over the parking lot at the place where he parked his car and at the residence. He was easy to catch. It was a very quick deal. Yes, everyone's already saying it ain't easy being cheesy. Except I feel like Chester the Cheetah would have been a little smarter than this. I know! Chester the Cheetah is a pretty smooth dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. If you're going to steal snacks from your local Quickie Mart, 7-Eleven, whatever you have where you are, don't steal the kind of snacks to leave a trail. Now, I realize it wasn't like Cheeto dust, like he wasn't leaving orange fingerprints on everything, like apparently the bag came open or something and they were just spilling out all over the and place. how did he not notice that shit? Yeah, like, I, I feel like I would notice. If They're I was neon leaving. orange. They're not hard to see. Yeah. They're that unnatural color that says, don't eat me, don't eat me, but you eat it anyway. I don't know why, but yeah, that's a... I know, I like Cheetos. That horrible color that does not occur in nature. It's like they made them out of traffic cones and shit, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I like I, I sort of picture them finding him in his place, like in his tidy whiteies playing Mario Kart. <laughs> what? I, what? I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. There's just like, you know. No, man, I'm just holding those for a friend. <laughs> those aren't my Cheetos, officer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that uh, that phrase had to be spoken. Hang on. That's the saddest way to get caught. Like, yeah, he's in jail right now. And someone's like, what are you in for? Cheetos. <laughs> All right, we've got another in our continuing series on people who crash their cars into shit. <laughs> because it is a continuing series at this point. Yeah. Every and weirdly, we have another continuing series on naked people stomping on people's cars. We'll be back with this hard hitting report. But right now. OK, this. Yeah. Again, no segue. No segue for this one. Man crashes into pizza restaurant, orders pizza. The balls on this man. I mean, that's that's like these are these are 20 pounders each. Why does why do these things always involve either beer or pizza? I know. Like, man crashes into liquor store, demands beer. Man crashes in the house, offers pizza. Always pizza and beer. Like, I know that they say that pizza's like sex, even bad pizza's pretty good. I don't think there's any pizza in the world that's that good. Like, it's just fucking dough and sauce and cheese, guys. Like... He got his foot stuck on the accelerator of his car and drove into the pizza restaurants while concerned citizens called 911. The man placed an order for a pizza. Man placed his order from inside his car. Witnesses on the scene said the man didn't appear to be hurt or in shock at what happened. A uh, bystander said he seemed very calm and collected. I was amazed. He didn't even get out of the car. No. That's not how drive through works. That's that's not the man's car. A Honda Fit was the perfect size to fit right through the door of the restaurant. <laughs> now that is a manly vehicle. Uh, he didn't smash anything. He just drove in the front door. Which is not how drive through works. Mm. Drive through entails. Once you go to the restaurant, you continue going on because they make space for you to continue going on. There is no place to go here. Hence, not a drive through. This would be a drive. No, I guess, because what the fuck, guy? Like a drive in? Right. Well, that's different. That's actually a thing. This is not a thing. You can't no. just decide to make a place, you know, carry out 
in the worst I like possible how they, way. I like how they cite all the other times people have crashed into pizza places. What? At the bottom of the article. Car drove? They cite like a bunch of other times it's happened. <laughs> Yeah, at least three other times. It's listening. Yeah. Right. Oh my god! I like that they did that legwork for us. That's pretty. It's pretty. This sweet. is like a fucking epidemic and shit. Why does this keep happening? Like, see, and it's always fucking pizza. It's never like man crashes in car into White Castle. And honestly, you would think that would happen more. <laughs> yes, you would. Yeah, it's like it's always fucking pizza. No, it's pizza. What is it about the pizza? Is it the <laughs> smell of the dough? It is a weird coincidence. There's got to be some reason for it. Some scientific reason. Some like cosmic thing about pizza. The last one tonight. Oh, man. You know the phrase, I don't give a shit. Yes. Florida, Vero Beach woman pulls gun, poops in kitchen after finding hubby with another woman. Oh. 33 year old woman and her older boyfriend were sleeping in their Vero Beach bedroom when the boyfriend's wife stormed in with a rifle. OK, if if you if, if you're sleeping with someone who is married it's not your boyfriend. You're his mistress. That's how that works. Um, the wife identified as Brenda Schumann, 51, pointed a loaded, pointed a rifle at the 42 year old husband and his younger girlfriend, threatening to kill them both. Husband got the gun away, but that didn't stop the rampage. Uh, Schumann urinated on the carpet outside the master bedroom, defecated on the kitchen floor, grabbed a second rifle and started destroying Christmas decorations and other things. Her quote is magic. I found him in bed with a naked chick. What was I supposed to do? Not any of that. None of those things. None of those oh, things. Oh, oh, Rossetti, you go stand in the corner. Rossetti says she literally lost her shit. Mm -mm. You go stand in the corner. Think about what you've done. What was I supposed to do? Anything else? A no yeah, I mean, a number of other ways you could go there. Take incriminating pictures. It says they were already in the middle of a divorce, too. So. Yeah, I, like you were kind of split up. Anything that doesn't involve poop, just anything would have been a better yeah. idea. Just, nope, we left poop out of the equation entirely. Okay, the, the puds are just going, Dr. Squibbs, shit got real. Yeah. And that, like, why is that your weapon of choice? That's not, that's not okay. <laughs> poop? Well, she had a rifle. It's just he took the rifle. What was she supposed to do? Well, then you just start throwing things like a normal crazy woman. Well, you don't That's want her what to throw. We do when men wrong us, we throw things at them. You don't want her to throw those things. No, you pick things up and throw them. <laughs> things that are already there that didn't come out of your body. <laughs> That's the way it's been done for centuries. It's worked out pretty well so far. Yeah. Did it come out of my butt? If yes, don't throw. No. Simple. You throw vases and. Phones and shoes. And you when it poop she, on the kitchen floor, she had a second rifle, too. She was going all Rambo on this shit, except, you know, with poop. Do you think it was hers or do you think they had it in the house? Maybe. But Jesus, God. What? I've been in bad relationships. We've both been in bad relationships. And here's a question. They were in bed and sleeping. Yeah. How much, how fucked do you have to be that the dude who was in bed sleeping got the rifle away from you? 
It's a rifle. It's not like it's a handgun and you dropped it. Yeah, you're not very good at this, lady. That's a two-handed weapon. And some dude got out of bed and got it away from you. Before you even got to hit him over the head with it? You could have knocked his shit out. You're upset because of the baton. You're a baton major, is it's right? It wasn't a major. <laughs> That's what, yeah, there we go. They don't let you major in that. When I, when I, I mean, I've been in bad relationships and I've had many options. I've done many stupid things. Not once has any of them involved poop. That never seemed like a viable plan. No. Poop is not a plan. Poop is not a plan. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I, I'm sad I have to say it this plainly. Poop is not a plan. It's poop. Mm. So I, I guess that that's the first thing we learned this week. Poop is not a plan. It's poop. Things you shouldn't have to tell people. I know. That just. <sighs> Drive carefully near your local pizza place. People be crashing. Because into apparently the, the cosmic lure of pizza is too great for your power steering. People be crashing into that shit. Cars apparently love pizza. You know what I figured out what this is we do at the end? This is remedial human 101. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's what it's, it's remedial human 101. Check, you folks at home, check with your administrator, see if you get a credit for the course. Mm -hmm. Um We've learned that evidence can take many forms. Fingerprints, blood. Cheetos mm. and check that you don't leave a trail. Just just check because that's try not to leave any kind of evidence trail, whether it be DNA or cheesy. Because, yeah, a Cheetos trail or DNA cheesy Cheetos fucking glow in the dark. It's not hard to follow that one. Don't do yeah. that. Uh, we learned that. 19 year olds have way too much time on their hands. And weird ideas for crime sprees. Uh, no, I, yo, I remember. Like, I mean, even in Point Break, which came out in the, what, the 80s, the 90s, yeah. at the, the height of ridiculousness for our society, even then they just put on dead president masks. The dead presidents, yeah. It, it, they weren't wearing fucking snork things and taking like, off their shirts and painting themselves blue this is not an episode of arrested fucking development that's a lot of work to go through oh like maybe pick something less labor intensive next time i bet they i bet they actually lost more money on the blue paint than they could yeah. have actually stole it Costuming takes time and effort. cosplay is, is time and effort, people. You, you got to appreciate that. Cosplay takes some time. And like they beat that dude up. So that poor dude had the double humiliation of being oh. beat up. And beat up by a smurf. I'm going to go to hell for this. And left with the blue paint on him. But I have this horrible image in my mind. I'm going to hell. I'm sorry. La, 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 la. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got my picture taken with Sasset in Times Square last summer. <laughs> it's a little red haired smurf with the braids. Yes. <laughs> we learned that you can be concerned about your kids within reason. Yeah. You can make I think we've learned that, you know, bursting into any place with a gun and or the threat of a gun is almost never the answer to your problem unless you're like Bruce Willis. The minute if you're Bruce Willis and like Alan Rickman has taken over something, then that might be the answer to yes. your problem. But that seems like a really rare specific scenario. So in most cases, I would just assume that bursting into some place with a gun or the threat of a gun is not the solution to your problem. Yeah, Alan Rickman doesn't get out that much anymore, so it's probably not going to come up. I mean, it's 
the minute you say I have a gun, congratulations, you've just committed a felony. Well, uh, I mean, you might have a carry permit. Okay, yeah, but when you go into a place and announce, I have a gun. Yeah. That can be construed as, what is it? Is that battery? That's not battery. Salt, battery, oh, fuck it. Like, generally, I would assume that that's not going to wind up being the solution to your problem. I think that's a fair assessment. That's assault. That's considered, oh, count zero, that's considered assault. Wow. Yeah, because there's such thing as verbal assault. Yeah. Making a threatening statement. Don't you don't do that shit. Oh, it's terroristic threats. We have its own category now. And generally fun. just don't do that. Finally tonight. Don't listen to Justin Bieber. In any capacity, in not, any way. Yeah, not on the don't radio. Don't listen to his music. Don't listen to the things he says in your head. Don't listen to the voices in your head of people that suck. Only listen to the voices in your head of people who are awesome. Yeah, you know, if, if it's it's like Tom Waits or something in your head. Uh, well, I need you to go down to the corner store and give me some smokes. You know, you do that for Tom Waits because it's Tom sure. Waits. But not, not Justin Bieber telling you to go to the high school and masturbate in front of the boys while they're swimming. That's not good. You no. have to understand Bieber's trolling you. Yeah, Bieber's kind of a dick. He's yeah, Bieber's just trolling you, dude. Just just let it yeah, go. Yes, so listening to the Michael Stipe in your head would be okay. Because yeah. he's awesome. <laughs> and you should definitely listen to the me in your head if you have one. Don't tell me if you do. I don't want to know. Just listen to me, always. Well that just that I don't know what that that's just terrifying for many reasons. Just the idea that you, there's tiny little terror poised in everybody's head across the country. The question is, am I the angel or the devil? You're the devil! <laughs>